It is Manchester United 1, Fulham 2, aka if you're Muslim, Full Haram 2, Manchester United 3 points thrown into the bin, collected by Fulham because Manchester United had no balls today, has ruined my Saturday, ruined my weekend guys, with that poor performance from minute 0 to 90. United have been stinking up the place for a very long time, game in, week in, week out. But today, they really stank up the place. They made you watch the match with your mouth and your face like this. Hmm. Because you can smell the stinkiness coming out from their football. The manager himself as well, I don't know with this team. There is no style with Manchester United. Cannot attack, cannot defend. Useless up front, toothless. Rashford has proved to me once again when he plays up front, he's not good enough. He doesn't even look interested. Manchester United have let a lot of fans down. The manager, oh, good luck to your future because I just don't see you get, being here next season if this continues. The 10th defeat of Manchester United. The 10th defeat, guys, I repeat once again, of Manchester United season in the Premier League. And everywhere else, I believe. It has been poor today, once again. I have had enough. I've had enough of what I've been seeing. And today, guys, look at that. You look at the first 45 minutes. Manchester United. How was so poor? We looked like the away team. No, no, seriously. Big man thing. We looked like the away team. Our home ground. Home ground. Fulham was causing trouble for the first 30 minutes. We never woke up until the 30 minutes. And then towards the latter stage of the first half. Which makes me sick as well. I have to say. Mesh and I were often giving the ball away with their passes. Just looking off it with their passing. And, and you look at. The manager himself and you're thinking like what do you coach these players what do you do in 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 training who are your coaches get rid of them bring someone new bring better elite people to coach these t players but then again get rid of some of these players get rid of a lot of them i mean in the second especially with the first goal with that we can conceded in the second half because it was nil nil at half time it was just playing boring football Calvin Bassey, because the goal was coming. Calvin Bassey from the set piece, finding a way to get a shot in. And again, once again, Andre Onana, he looks like a stupid Disney character from Frozen. He is Frozen. He is Elsa, because he's just like that most of the time. Watching the ball go straight into the back of the net, like I've seen that far too often. Then that just tells me this keeper is not good enough. And yes, Manchester United equalized, but I didn't celebrate it. I looked at it like, like this this is bullshit. The equalizer from Harry Maguire, of course, Bruno had a terrible game, took a sh wild shot. Let's just be honest, it was a wild shot with hit and hope, hoping that it will do something, but he did it. And then, of course, the goalkeeper Leno saves it, and then Harry Maguire taps it in, finishes it off. Well. I didn't celebrate at that goal because I just I was just non impressed with Manchester United performance, and I believe some of you fans probably didn't celebrate that. And so this is bullshit. This is some bullshit. And then they were close to ninety. If it was in the ninetieth minute, close to the ninetieth minute. And then with nine minutes left, you think Manchester United can build, get that momentum, gather it up, and go for the winner? No, they didn't because of course Traore running through the open midfield of Manchester United. Looking for his teammate, Wobi, another Nigerian, who happened to finish it off. And again, once again, Andre Onana. Standing still, frozen like Elsa from the Disney Channel character. You joke, man, bruv. Statue of Liberty. Watching the ball go back in the back of the net when Alex Wobi took that shot. It was even the best of finishes. It, could have, it was savable. But this guy, this goalkeeper, truly isn't good enough to keep for Manchester United. And the Manchester United players as well, you guys need to look at yourself in the mirror. And slap yourself a thousand times. And give yourself lashes to each other as well and to yourself because you're not good enough you're not fit enough to wear the shirt you guys suck at your job you really suck at your job and you get paid so much money i am so annoyed i am so pissed off Manchester United losing 2-1 in the dying seconds of added time so poor full time guys you look at players today 
you look at Bruno Fernandes, who's meant to be the captain, who's meant to be that guy, the playmaker, you know, the man that creates all the chances. Absolutely dog shit. Pants today again. Once again, he's told me that he's not a world-class football player. He can't control the game. He is what he is. And I just let him do what he does because that's what he is. He knows who he is. He's just a guy that just tries it, risk taker, a thousand times, spamming the ball, not thinking about keeping possession and control, control. And then we have a manager that talks about control, control, and you play a guy like Bruno Fernandes, and you don't even def discipline him and show him how to control the game. Manager's a fraud too, guys. Rashford playing up front, toothless. And I have never been in favour of Marcus Rashford playing up front. It just shows me and it tells me that, really and truly, He's not good enough on the left wing. He's not good enough on the right wing. He's not good enough playing up front for Manchester United. Get rid of him in the summer. Mark Thrashard, I've tapped out. I'm not sold with that guy. That guy's a fraud. He's fooled you guys really well. He is not who you think he is. He is not good enough. And once again, he showed today. Playing up front for Manchester United, I know it's, it's hard. It's hard to play up front for Manchester United because you don't get the service. But you look at look at Marcus Rashford. Did he even put the F in? Did he run into the box? Did he make those right runs? Did he did he cut back? Did he did he did he fight? Did he win headers? No, he didn't. He wasn't interested. He didn't press well. Maguire who equalised, but he made a lot of mistakes. This guy's clumsy, and I can't wait until we sell him. Garnacho was garbage. Garbage today. Garbage Garnacho. And Andre Onano, who's a joke man in goal, he is a fool and I've had enough and I don't want him as my keeper. Next season, new goalkeeper because he's proven to me week in, week out, he can't do it. It is what it is, guys, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just not impressed with the manager as well with the way he set up the team. And, and, and as we go week in, week out, there's, I don't think the manager will be our manager next season. Eric Ten Hag has told me that he himself is not good enough and he can't take us further. Even with Ineos, I don't think he can take us any further. That has been your match reaction from your boy, Alvaron Spice. Man of the match today, nobody but you guys. You guys are the man of the match. But don't give the match. I'm going to give it to Andre Onana, Bruno Fernandes, and Marcus Rashford. All of them are fools. Donkeys. Donkeys. Full of donkeys. Asses as well. But guys... Make sure you put yourself your thoughts in the comments. Let me know who your man of matches, who you don't give the match. And of course, tune in on Monday for the catch up when we review with the man them. Till next time, peace out. Remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. I've had enough, man. Peace, man. Peace.